celebrate clean times. This is the unboxing and review of the Dyson V15, and boy oh boy, am I very excited about this. Mm-hmm. Pew, pew, pew. Oh my God. Celebrate clean times, come on. Do, do, do. Ooh, 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 ooh. So this is the latest and the greatest from Dyson. And um, you know, Dyson really know how to hit the spot with me. Not only do I get to see the canister full of dirt because let's face it, who else out there just likes looking at dirt? <laughs> me. <laughs> but Dyson have literally pulled the cat out of the bag with this one. And with this, you can actually identify the sizes of the dust particles you're picking up. What type of dirt are you collecting? Oh my God. Celebrate clean times, come on. Do, 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 do. It's a celebration. Woo! Oh, it's heavy. Oh, it's so heavy, but it's gloriously beautiful. Oh, wow. Wow. Just look at this. Oh my God, it's so Woo! I am so excited. I'm going to show you guys. Okay, it's the Dyson V15 Detect Absolute Extra. Now, the difference between this one and the other one is that it comes with a dock. And no, I don't mean the dock that you used to get with your other ones, but this is a special kind of dock. As you can see here, it has got white and it's got a stand, kind of looks like an iPod. But you know what? I can't wait to check inside the box. Awesome. But one thing also to note is that this particular model has full HEPA, and I will get into the HEPA very, very shortly. I'm going to need a knife. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. <gasps> Let's open up this box. I am so excited about this, and I'll tell you why I'm actually excited about this. Well, one, it's a new device, but secondly, I'm a bit of a Dyson sucker. I have gone through quite a few Dysons, as you will know. I previously, previously had a V6, and then I upgraded to a V11, and I loved, I loved my V11. I'll tell you what, I, I loved it so much for my V6. It was the best thing ever. It was a little bit heavier. I took that, but the suction on it was incredible, and as you can see, it's collected so much dirt and dust. However, as time has gone by, I kind of don't feel the same as I used to with my Dyson V11. I sort of feel like the suction power could just need a bit more oomph. Some more timing as well. The timing on it just, you know, it can give me like half an hour, 40 minutes, but it has to charge for three hours. So if Dyson can somehow make this a lot more suctionable and give me more time, then I might even be really happy and I might just say goodbye to my Dyson V11 and hello to my V15. All right, so enough about the old. Let's look at the new. Oh, and you know, oh my gosh, Dyson always have a fantastically neat setup of their boxes. As you can see here, you've got the Dyson dock. This is the actual dock. OMG. This is very exciting. So this is the Dyson dock manual. Now, I'm not actually going to be installing the dock just yet, so I'm kind of going to skip past this because I'm too excited to have a look at the actual device itself. But I will open it up to you guys because I'm sure a lot of you out there want to know why you're paying extra. What does this dock actually do? Oh boy, it's heavy. It's like super heavy. Okay, so this is the dock and essentially it's got a metal base on the bottom and over here you can see this is where it plugs in. So. It sits on the floor and you can charge it up from wherever you want to charge up. So that is the dock. And I'm going to put that to one side for now. And with the dock as well, it comes with its own bar, which is over here, which you will just essentially slide in. All right. So enough about the dock. I don't care about the dock right now. I mean, I do care about it because obviously I paid extra for it. But what I really want to see is what this Dyson has to offer. Now let's take a look at the accessories box because inside the accessories box is this. Now this is a hair brush. I have read that this is a hair brush. No, it's not for your hair like this. Although you could be mistaken because it can be used to pick up animal hair and also long hair as well. Now, previously with my previous Dysons, hair has always got tangled up inside the main roller and so occasionally I'd have to get a pair of scissors and cut that hair out and pull it and it'll be such a tedious task. However this one apparently, apparently you can go over those hairy areas and apparently it doesn't get stuck. So that is something that Dyson have thought about. You can also use this on your mattress which is really important because um, vacuuming your mattress is really important to do say for example every month or every couple of months because there are so much skin flakes that come off to us naturally, um, dust mites as well so vacuuming is very important. I do normally vacuum my Dyson with my just regular um, roller but it's not very nimble so I'm excited to see this one. It feels quite nimble, quite small and the angle is appropriate for it as well. So I'm looking forward to using the hair or the anti, well the hair piece. It says an anti-tangle screw on it but it's actually the hair piece. I'm excited about that. 
Okay, what else do they give you? Dyson is like a box that never ends giving. It's so, it's so gorgeous in that sense. <laughs> All right, so they also give you a, another, whew, there we go, if we can get it out. This is a soft brush. Sometimes I would actually like it if Dyson gave me a harder brush, um, particularly when I'm doing the car, for example. These soft bristles just don't really catch much on. And very often when I have these soft ones, I don't really know what to do with them. So if somebody knows an idea of what to do with this, where do you use it? I'd love to know because these ones, they always look brand new at the end of my Dyson life cycle. So if you guys use this, let me know what you're using it on because I just feel like it doesn't do much, but I could be mistaken. What else have we got inside this box that doesn't stop giving? We have got, ooh. Okay, I believe this belongs to the dock or in fact the Dyson so you can, um, you know what, I'm gonna check out what this belongs to. It might just be the dock holder. I'll tell you guys very shortly. Okay, what else have we got? Oh my God, I think it's the piece of resistance. It is the Dyson. Oh yes, oh yes. Oh yes. I love, love, love this. It's so good. <sighs> and then what else have we got? Just an empty box and something inside here as well. <sighs> this is a workout in itself, Dyson. All right, so this also belongs to the dock as well. Put that to one side because quite frankly, what I really want to see now is this magical vacuum cleaner that's going to tell me what type or what size of dirt I've picked up. It's gonna categorize it for me. It's gonna analyze the kind of the size of the particles I'm picking up. It's gonna tell me whether they're sand, whether it's pollen, whether it's dust, whether it's skin flakes. And it's gonna tell me how much of each of those I have apparently detected or picked up because inside of the tube, inside of the cyclone or inside of the actual, um, the canister itself, it will categorize it. So that I'm actually looking forward to. It sounds very scientific, but it also, promises a lot more suction as well, which is what I'm looking for. Okay, so inside of the box, you get your, our mission is simple, solve the problems other ignore, others ignore. I probably don't need to know what type of dust I have in my house, but it is a problem that is cool to know. But definitely, definitely what I'm looking forward to is a suction power. And one other nifty feature that this does as well is on hard floors, you can actually point out a laser and you can see whether or not you've truly cleaned the area, which is kind of a little bit worrying. Hope it's not too dirty. <laughs> All right, inside this envelope, I feel like I'm Charlie in the Chocolate Factory. This is the regulatory compliance and safety information. Thank you for buying the Dyson V15 Detect Vacuum. Well, this is interesting because I have never actually come across one of these in Dyson's products before. I'm going to skim through this and have a look. Usually Dyson just put in a quick, easy start, but this is actually quite important because it says warning everywhere. And it says it's a class one laser product. Oh boy. Okay, so to reduce the fire, to reduce the risk of fire or electric shock. Da, 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 da. Only certain people can do this. This appliance is a class one laser product. According to the standard, laser products are safe during use, including long-term direct intrabeam viewing, even when exposure occurs while using telescopic optics. Class one also includes high power lasers that are fully enclosed so that no potentially hazardous radiation is accessible during use. Intrabeam viewing of class one laser products, which emit visible radiant energy may still produce dazzling visual effects, particularly in low ambient light. There may be potential hazard from the laser if not used in the specified the Dyson manual. You know, I'm a little bit scared about it. Generally speaking, it's just saying, you know, um, don't plug it in, unplug the charger when not in use for extended periods of time, use extra care when cleaning on stairs, to prevent unintentional starting, keep your hands away from the trigger. So there's not really much, you know, it's all kind of common sense, I suppose. Um, but I just haven't seen one of these in a Dyson before. So I'm a bit taken aback. I think it's because it's got laser stuff. There's nothing here to say that particular medical people can't have it. Like if you've got a pacemaker or if you're pregnant or anything like that. So there's no hazards or warnings in that sense. But I guess you probably want to just read the manual yourself and see whether this is suitable for you to use um, because there might be something in here that I'm missing. So I guess use this, read it cautiously and see if it's suitable for you. I gotta say, I'm a little bit taken back by that. I'm glad I opened it up because it's important to know, but nonetheless, it is a vacuum cleaner. It's a brand new one, and I'm still very excited to see what is inside this box. So I'm gonna unbox it right now. 
And over here, I'm gonna say the colors are pretty funky. <laughs> it's a pretty funky looking Dyson vacuum cleaner. Let's have a look. I like what Dyson are doing there. They're wrapping up in paper. It feels very eco-friendly. Oh my goodness me, look at that. <gasps> That's gorgeous. It's gold. Oh my God, it's gold. <laughs> I love that. Oh my God, it's so blingy. Wow, that is so crazy. I love that. Oh, here she is. Hello, baby. Welcome home. Okay, wow. Okay, it's a bit of an eclectic mix of colors. You've got this kind of like aqua turquoisey color mixing with the gold and the red, but you know, it's pretty cool. I like it. It's, um, it's got a cylinder, which I don't think is different to the V15 in terms of its capacity. I will just take a quick side-by-side -side comparison. Now, mine is full of dust because I haven't emptied yet. I wanted you just to see. Let's have a look. Yeah, they look really similar. So the V15 and the V11, the canister sizes are identical and the filter sizes are the same. Um, they're about the same heaviness as well. So there's not gonna be much difference for me in terms of, I guess, holding it. Perhaps the V15 is ever so slightly heavier than the V11. I'm gonna switch hands because I am right side dominant. So let's see. No, I think they're actually quite similar. I do feel they're quite similar. Okay, cool. So that is that. I do love this. This is so blingy. Oh my God, it's beautiful. I don't want to use it. It's going to get scratched. Oh my God, there's more accessories. Wowzers. Okay, what else? What else, Dyson, are you going to give me? Oh my goodness me. All right, so I did think that there would be more accessories, but I didn't think there'd be this many more accessories. So inside of the box, you also have your all essential... Um, I don't know what this is called, but it's the long one that you use for kind of tight spaces. That's really cool. I like that. You also have this one. Again, I've had this one before. I just don't know what it's used for. If someone could tell me. Oh, look. I just realized you can. Okay. It's another extendable piece that has some soft bristles. Again, I want something hard. So hopefully within this box, I'm going to find a harder piece. Ooh. I found a harder piece. <laughs> so here is the hard bristle brush, which is exactly what I'm after. So I'm gonna test this out and see where this is useful in the car. I like it, I like it. Thank you, Dyson, for hearing me. All of my problems are now solved. And inside this box here, we have got the charger, which is just your standard Dyson charger. I have one of those already. And what else have we got inside? Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. <laughs> this is the funky looking Oh, little baby. Oh my God, it's so small. This is the laser detect. So this is the laser detect for the hard floors. I'll be testing this out. Um, it is, it feels more nimble than the previous one. Like this one is a beast compared to this. This is tiny, but maybe it has to be small and cute and nimble because it does emit radiation or sorry, laser, I should say. <laughs> you can actually, pleasingly, you can turn it off and there's an off and there's an on button. And right behind there as well, there's a tiny wee little microchip. So there are some interesting electronics. I'll be intrigued to find out if this ever does break down because, you know, things break naturally. What is also interesting is this. So Dyson have not integrated the swivel action on this particular head here, but instead they've got the hose, which is kind of like old school, but they've got the hose right here that goes left and right. Um, and I guess this one goes up and down. So that is gonna be fun to find out because why not? Let's just see. It kind of looks like a, a bumblebee. <laughs> what else have we got inside this box? Oh yes, that's what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. This is the main feature and this one is your brush. And I'm just like, taking a look and comparing my V11 to this one. Yeah, look, in terms of size wise, they're absolutely identical. They have, Dyson have changed the actual brush itself. It's now an anti-tangle comb, which will reduce those problems, like I said earlier, with your hair, so I don't have to cut my hair out every so often, which is really cool. Um, and it does have some combing mechanism on the inside. So they've really thought about all of the issues that one could potentially have when they're using their vacuum cleaners, which I do appreciate in a company. So thank you for that. But the truth is, how will actually perform in real life? You can do one thing, but will it be good? Mm, let's find out. Okay, and over here, you've got your old school style dock. So if you don't want to do the whole dock thing, you've also got your old school dock over here. All right, 
So I think that is it. Oh my goodness, that is literally it. Let's do a little bit of tidy up. Alrighty, now that's all unboxed. It's time to set up this beautiful baby. I have to say this does look really blingy. I kind of feel like I need to dress up for the occasion to clean my house now, which is not a bad excuse because you're gonna be celebrating clean times. Oh yeah. <laughs> so let's click this into place. I don't want this to get scratched. I have to say, I feel like, it feels like a shame. It's so gorgeous. But yeah, nonetheless, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one for the team. <laughs> I'm gonna start off first of all by doing some carpets. So I'm gonna click on the main brush like so. Oh, don't you just love those signature Dyson clicks? And let's see if they've been kind enough to give me some battery. Okay, cool. They say fully charged before first use. That's so annoying. I just wanna use it. <laughs> let's see how much charge it's got. Um, Oh wow. All right, that's pretty cool. Okay, so on the side over here, I'm just gonna show you. Let's take a look. So on the side here, you've got your typical LCD screen, which is um, the same as in the V11. And you can see if you click on it, it will tell you uh, which mode you wanna go into, eco, or whether you wanna go into auto or boost mode, which we're all kind of familiar with now because Dyson have had that technology for some time. Eco means that it's not so super suction and auto means it just gives it kind of a moderate suction, whereas boost is when you really wanna take out that kind of mud stain or some really dirty, dirty stuff. Generally speaking, I always use my vacuum on auto mode and boost for areas that are kind of really super dirty, but most of the time auto and I usually get a runtime about 30 minutes or so um, on a carpet and about 40 minutes on a hard floor. So it's interesting to see how this will fare. Now to access the view where you can see what proportion of dirt you have sucked up, you operate the actual machine itself. And yeah, literally you'll see a nice graph there. And I can see that so far already I have picked up 419,000 over 10 micro millimeters, micrometers of pollen. That's what that's picked up. So it's picked up lots of dust, allergens, and pollen. And let me just check pollen. Yes, that is right. It's picked up 4.9 thousand of particles that are small enough to be mold. It's picked up seven dust mites or seven particles of dust mites and it's picked up no particles of skin flakes just yet. And that is literally just, I've just had it on for like five seconds. So primarily I'm getting lots of pollen and allergens in this particular spot, which is really interesting because I guess now it is the pollen season. I don't wanna to get too fixated on this because I might end up being a bit of a clean freak, but I guess it is a nice feature that Dyson have done. So far it's got five minutes of use. So I wanna just use it quickly to vacuum a tiny spot. Then I'm gonna go on the hard floor and use the laser and then we we'll charge it up and do this all again. Oh, I love it, can't wait. Let's see what it feels like. Now the vacuum cleaners are all charged up, it's time to put them to the ultimate test. And yes, I know you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the tea bag test. That is right. In my previous videos, that is exactly what I've been doing to check and see what the suction is like on these beautiful babies that I've had previously. And so without further ado, I am gonna help you guys out and let you know exactly how well it performs with a tea bag. So right here, I'm gonna be sacrificing my beautiful carpet. Yes, that is right, it is beautiful. <laughs> and I'm gonna be pouring this tea bag contents over the floor and we're gonna be having a look and see how, just how good the suction is on my V11 versus the brand new V15. <gasps> oh my God. Oh, so much tea on the floor. So what I'm gonna do right now is using the uh, V11, I'm gonna make sure it's on medium mode, which it is right now. And I'm just gonna do a one pass all the way through and see if there's any tea leaves left over. Here we go. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, some tea just dropped out at the end there. Oh no. Okay, that's interesting. So some of the tea leaves actually fell onto the floor after I took off the button. And let's just have a look over here. Um, yeah, I mean, there's, yeah, there's definitely tea leaves left over on the floor. I'd say it's about 80% successful in picking up the tea leaves, but it has scattered a few as it went along and it deposited a nice little healthy, healthy number over there at the bottom. So actually, I'm not entirely sure if that did any, well, it picked up something. Let's just say that. 
All right, it's now time for the V15. Now, a few things about the V15 is as part of its new features, it does categorize the type of dirt that you're picking up. So it does that in terms of the particle size. So it goes from really small through to slightly bigger particles, such as sand. So it tells you if you picked up pollen, allergens, mold, skin flakes, and bigger things like sand. So I'm hoping that this is gonna tell me that these are obviously big particles. And the way that it does that, it shows you a little graph as you're vacuuming as well which is kind of fun, I guess, because you want to see what the contents is of your dirt, but maybe you're always going to chase like a zero. So you kind of want there to be no dirt whatsoever. I don't know, let's see. But more to the fact, let's have a look and see just how well the T, the V15 does on the T test. All right, let's open it up and get going. So it's on medium mode right now. The suction is way heavier. Woo. Let's take a look. Ooh, I mean, that felt a lot stronger. I have to say that did feel a lot stronger. It is telling me that the majority of my particles that were picked up were allergens and pollens and a small number, a smaller number, I should say, were larger particles. So let's take a little look and see exactly how well we've done. Okay, there is a definite, definite, definite difference, I have to say. The V15 did a lot better. It probably picked up about 99% of the tea leaves. There are some scattered through. I'll say 97% because I want to be fair. Whereas the um, V11, yeah, there is a noticeable difference between the two. Perhaps I'll have to do it on a lighter colored carpet for you guys to fully see, but that is quite an impressive difference. Um, let's take a look up here. Did it scatter any along the way? No, it didn't. And it did not deposit any of the tea leaves at the end. So. So far, suction wise, this guy seems to be working a lot better than my old guy, which is kind of disappointing because I always thought that my V11 was the bomb diggy. So now I don't have that anymore. Hmm. All right, it is time for what I've been waiting for. For this whole procedure, it is the time to check out how well it performs on the hard floors. Now, the most exciting thing about this Dyson V15 is the ability that it has this laser that points out and shoots out the dirt so you can see exactly where those microscopic pieces of dirt are, which I'm absolutely thrilled to check out. And just to make a fair comparison, on my V11, I have switched around the, whoop, I've switched around the, <laughs> I've switched around the head and it's now the torque one, which is suitable for the hard floors. Obviously you can use the other headpiece that I was using. And to be honest with you, I didn't really use the torque one very often because I'm very lazy at changing the heads. So all I used to do was just use my other headpiece um, around even the hard floors and the carpets. But just for the purpose of this test, I'm gonna be fair and I'm gonna make it to the hard floor piece. And over here you can see that the laser, the nice laser one is actually quite slim compared to the previous headpiece and you have got the ability of turning on the laser and turning off the laser but obviously I'm going to keep it on for this particular exercise. I'm not going to have any tea left by the end of this. <laughs> it's all going to be gone. <laughs> okay so here we go just a one run through with the V11 to see how well it picks up the tea bags. Yep it did a good job. It did capture yeah, I mean, it captured a lot of the tea. Yes, it did capture the tea. It didn't lose any at the end like it did previously on the carpet. So I'm happy about that. And this is on the auto mode, which is the middle mode. So just bear that in mind. And now it's time to have a look at this laser technique because this is what I'm excited about. This is where it's at. Okay, I've not tried this before. Let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. Okay, so we are now on auto mode. And let's just have a look and see how it fares. Okay, I have to say cleaning wise, it did a spectacular job. It's picked up every single thing. I'm not sure. Is the laser just like a light? Because it's literally just the light in my opinion. Let's just take a look again. Okay, so as you just saw, the laser is green and when you turn it on, it does illuminate the pathway for you. And I feel like it's just a light that's just illuminating where the dust particles are because I don't see anything more exciting than that. So what I'm gonna do is just test this out again, but this time use a torch and see with my, v, um, with my V11 actually, if I can just duplicate this whole idea of just illuminating up the dirt. So here we go.
All right, so that was a really interesting experiment. So whilst you can see a lot more with the flashlight because it's a lot brighter, the laser actually does point the light in different directions. So there's a bit more of a refraction on small microscopic elements that you can see with the laser because of the way that the light refracts off it versus a just a blunt torchlight, which just illuminates the whole path for you. And so I guess that's how it benefits in that respect. And also I guess the positive is, is you don't have to carry a torchlight with you. I like it, it's kind of cool. And let's see how I'm doing with my dirt. Oh my goodness, I have got over 101 million allergens and 11.3 thousand sand particles, 2.1 million mold or skin flakes. Oh my goodness, that just sounds so disgusting. <laughs> Ooh, oh, what a cleaning chore. Oh my God, but it's so much fun with the V15. So I have to say, I am quite happy with the V15 so far. I What I really like over the V11 with my V15 is that suction power on my carpets. I was really lacking the suction power with this guy disappointingly so it just didn't quite clean as much as I wanted it to and you can tell that especially with the tea bag um, sucking up which this guy just didn't perform as well as so I am really happy that this one is a lot more powerful than the V11 that is something that I definitely 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 would keep it just for that reason I'm also quite impressed with the laser side of things I was a bit skeptical going into it and I thought why am I doing this you know what's the point in having a light but actually it makes sense the light of the laser refracts off the small little particles on the floor better than you would, for example, a torch. So therefore you can see it a bit better and so therefore you can have a deeper clean. Um, so yeah, I'm actually pleasantly surprised about this. The only letdown that I can think of with the V15 is the charging time. Five hours is quite a long time. And um, I mean, luckily it does have a fairly long runtime. Um, it's supposed to have 60 minutes if you're just doing on a normal mode, uh, probably 30 minutes on a, an auto mode, but don't quote me on that. I haven't quite checked it out yet, but I will check it out. But hopefully that'll be enough time, and I guess coupled with the two together, you probably blitz through your house fairly quickly. But if you are go, if you've got a large house, you probably want to go for a corded vacuum cleaner anyway. So this is quite good for those small touch-up areas. And with regards to the LCD display, I mean, so far, I have picked up 107 million allergens and pollens. That is just disgusting. I've literally just used it for five minutes around the little area over here. I have picked up 2.2 million maybe molds or skin flakes. Obviously they just tell you the size of the particle. It doesn't tell you exactly what is picked up, but they say that that could be an example of skin flakes or mold. And also sand could be an example of the particular particle size over there as well. So it does make you kind of wonder what is on the carpet, you know? Imagine you've got a kid who's breathing in the carpet, who's rolling around the carpet, and they're breathing in all of these um, skin flakes and pollens and allergens. That is pretty disgusting, I have to say, and even an adult as well. I don't really want breathing that stuff in. So it has encouraged me to do my cleaning. I'm gonna go off and just clean the whole house now because I'm a little bit addicted to this right now. I'm pleasantly surprised about the laser and I'm pleasantly surprised about the screen as well. I was very skeptical going in, but yeah, I'm, I'm actually very happy. And honestly, guys, I can't stress it enough, but the suction is just so much better on the V15 versus the V11. And you know, if I was thinking about my predecessors before this, the V16, just like, it's not worth it. Just, just go all out and buy something like this because, or even the V11, like if you can't quite afford the V15, go for the V11, it's still really good, but you just can't go back to the V11 from a V15. It's just, it's impossible. I hope you guys found that useful and um, just one thing actually before I close up is this one this particular model has a full HEPA filter which means that it will clear out over 99.5% of all of the particles going back into the air so when you're breathing in all of those or when the vacuum cleaner is bringing all of those particles inside here it's removing the air which is supposed to be nice and clean so that is really important because the last thing you want is to suck it up only to bring it back in again. So if you are going for a model like this, I probably would recommend getting the HEPA filter because you don't wanna just, you don't wanna undo all of that hard work that you've just done. Yeah, I'm pleased about that. The filter is also washable. With all of the Dyson filters, they're all washable, which is just easy, you just run under the tap. And what I do is just leave it outside in the sun for a couple of hours and then I pop it back in again. Um, gone are the days where you had to like, I don't know, buy a new filter, it's amazing. All right, guys, I hope you found that video useful and just let me know what you're using at the moment as well and whether you think the V15 is worth it or whether you're hanging out with a V11 or even a V6 as well. I would love to know in the comment section below. But for now, I'm off to clean the rest of the house. Oh my God.